Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So it's been a little minute, not even a minute, I always say that, it hasn't been a minute, it's been a couple of days since I've sat down and talked to you guys, um, but I think it's really important, especially during vlogmas and stuff like that, I have come to realize how difficult it is to vlog every day, can we just talk about that, vlogging every day is literally a job in itself because I'm vlogging, I'm editing, getting everything uploaded for that day. It, <laughs> oh my god, it's just, it's something, but I'm grateful for the experience, I'm really excited about it. Um, not burned out, so that's a good thing, and I'm really enjoying just kind of like filming the little stuff that I do around the holidays and just my regular everyday. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something that we oftentimes encounter, but it's not really um, talked about um, in, in a way to like find solution or whatever. Um, and that is holiday blues. So. It's, it's kind of what it sounds like. So basically, like around the holidays, sometimes we get into a funk. Um, and not even, sometimes not even a funk. It's just sadness because the holidays are different um, than what we have experienced prior. Um, so loss of loved ones, big thing. Um, being in a different place. Um, not having relationships that you've had before. Um, around the holidays just the whole feeling of the holiday is supposed to be love and joy and family and enjoyment and being together and sometimes when you don't have the opportunity to be together whether it's because of the relationships you lost or um, because of just you don't have time or working or you know whatever it may be um, sometimes it can be really really hard to get through the holidays and um, I, I can attest to that, um, being difficult. Um, today is actually 16 years since we have lost my grandmother, my mother's mother. And, um, she was huge on Thanksgiving and Christmas, this whole season. Um, so it kind of, it definitely became my mother and my, um, our, our, really our family, um, our favorite time of the year. So, of course, around this time of the year, you can't help but think about, um, you know, us cooking together in the kitchen and, like, putting together our Christmas foods and um, wrapping gifts. My mom and myself would wrap up gifts together for the kids because the kids were younger. My, my siblings are 10 years younger than I am. So, um, I was the uh, Santa's helper <laughs> in terms of wrapping gifts. Um, for the kids, they would go to bed or whatever, and the, or they would be sent to another side of the house, and then we would wrap gifts together with the Christmas music and like just little snacks and stuff like that. Well ahead, of course, around Thanksgiving time, we would already have our tree and our decorations up and everything, but we would be wrapping gifts for the whole week or so prior to um, Christmas. Um, I remember that also. We had we always had our tree up, so we'd have the gifts like set up under the tree, and then we would have the kids always trying to sneak and see what was under the tree, um, which was hilarious, you know, coming up. But it's just those things that make you remember how holidays used to be, and then the realization that it's not the same can be really really hard. So I think for me, um, what has helped me is just to do a few things. One. Take those memories and use them to get through your holidays. So remembering, and it might be sad, but just remembering the good times that you had previously and being intentional about making joy. And I, I've been putting that on like every post that I've put up for the last week or so. But just making joy even when you don't feel the happiness of the situation. Um being intentional that that's really a big thing making your mindset focus on the things that are good um instead of dwelling on the sadness of what isn't the same anymore um and really just making new memories and that is really really hard um doing things that you haven't done before 
um, you know, will get you kind of out of the pattern of what you're used to, but it'll also help you to, to shape your mind in a way that you'll be able to be content in whatever situation you're in. Um, so just doing those little things, no expert, but stuff that has helped me kind of get through it. It is absolutely hard and just want you to have an awesome, awesome holiday. Everybody, get around people who you love if you're able to, if not, FaceTime, Zoom, um, any type of virtual meeting. Just make your own happiness even when you feel good. Sure, what's that do now? to love God because he is the source of real love. Remember to love yourself and appreciate all that God created you to be. And while you're loving yourself and getting those lessons, remember to love other people because that is the way your world continues to go around. I love you so very much. Bye!